welcome back to my youtube channel i am crystal day thank you for just coming on to join me on this youtube journey it's been a blessing so far i hope that you would have gotten a chance to listen to some of my other videos if you haven't i want you to after this video just go and subscribe yes click the subscribe button i'm still on the journey to 1000 subscribers so i need your support right also share this video with somebody right you don't know what other persons are going through but definitely i believe that this um video and other videos on my youtube channel will be able to just inspire them in in order um to empower them and of course motivate them into their greatness so on the channel today i want to talk about um 10 ways to live a positive life and i'm sharing 10 but you can implement you know i believe even if you can implement three out of the ten and do it consistently over a period of time you'll definitely see more positive results in your life now one of the things that i one of the reasons why i wanted to do this because life is happening for everybody and that's the truth no matter how much money the person have no matter how accomplished they might seem no matter how them they smile on social media and you know showing up big and you know smashing goals life is happening there's always an era for in our lives that we would want to be doing better there's always an era in our lives that we wish was different or you know that we're still if you're a christian you're praying for God to intercede and to, to come and show up in that ear and he doesn't, right? And for some people, probably you're just going through an even rough season than you would want to admit, right? I mean, things are happening worldwide. You know, we see gas prices, food prices, people are losing their jobs. You know, they, they, they're not getting more money. yet still have more expenses. Um, you know, you they're, they're saying that your rent um increase and the children are getting older and they're demanding more things you probably lost a relationship or you know a friendship that you love you know just life is happening for everybody so take a deep breath yes take a deep breath because life is happening and i don't want you to get into the habit of looking at somebody else and wishing that you you would have their life because the truth is you really don't know what they're going through right people are losing loved ones people are being diagnosed with different um diseases or you know ailments people are when i say life will happen life will happen right and that's just the truth and you many people don't want to hear this right many people want to convince themselves that oh if i was if i had a better job life would be better if i was married this life life would be better if i was making more money let me tell you something paul says that whether you have little or you had he had enough um or whether he had little or whether he had enough like he had found he had to find contentment and coming from somebody that have experienced a life of little for many years but also have experienced life with much <laughs> right the nothing lasts forever the, the high moments doesn't need the low moments and sometimes when you're in a low moment it feels like it's 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 lasting longer but it's not necessarily always the case and sometimes our breakthrough is not in the breakthrough itself, but it is in the shift, the mindset shift that we have. And that's why I want to share with you the, the power of thinking positively, right? No, thinking positively is not saying that, oh, if I lose someone, I shouldn't mourn, you know, I shouldn't grieve or I should pretend that I'm okay. Thinking positively is not just saying that, or oh, if I, you know, just got a divorce, I should act like it didn't affect me or if like, no, it's, it's definitely not that. But one of the things that you, we have, well, I have learned and one of the things that you will realize, and even if you go through the scriptures, I, life is happening. Things, the word of God tells us that in this world, we would have troubles, but take heed, God has overcome the world. It says that in all things, give thanks. It never said for all things. And that's one of the things that a lot of people don't pay attention, right? God never said for all things because you, you, it's, it's going to be hard to be thankful for a marriage if you really love the person. It's going to be hard if you applied for a job and you really wanted it and you didn't get it, right? But in all things, so even in the hard moments, you can find things to give thanks for it. 
so i'm jumping into sharing 10 ways to, to again um to to develop a positive mindset now a scripture that i wanted to share with you just before i share the 10 is philippians 4 verse 8 right and it says brothers and sisters whatever is true right because the devil is the father of lies so a lot of the things that we are focusing on are lies that are that have been planted by the enemy whatever is noble right or good right whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable right whatever is excellent or praiseworthy think think on these things the power of positivity can shift your mind it shift your life it shift your finances it shift oh you show up for yourself right without expecting that everybody else must show up for you and you understand that you need to be your own rescue of course jesus is the ultimate rescuer but then you have to walk in that right so let me jump into the 10 um so number one again is to focus on good things so in every situation what can you find to say okay what good lesson i could have that i can learn from this failure right what what was the good part of me going through something so for example um i might talk about my sister a lot one of the things that while i mourn her death a lot i am able i think a lot on the the good times that we have had right um you know the the family outings you know the texts you know i remember she was eyebrow queen and i remember you know she always do my eyebrow even my little daughter would say you know i remember when auntie used to coat my auntie used to coat my ear the, the best so those are the good things even though we we miss her a lot these are the good things, you know, the memories, the good memories that we try to focus on, right? And not just, okay, we have lost her. And in every situation, you can find that in a job that you have lost. Okay, what was, what, what aspect of the job did you enjoy? Or if you didn't enjoy, right? Probably it's, that's the good thing, <laughs> right? God is releasing you from something that's causing you stress and anxiety, right? So what are the good things that you can focus on? Number two is the practicing of the gratitude. And this is a habit that we have to develop throughout life. And some persons will say, you know, get a, a gratitude jar, get a jar, and every morning you write something, or every night you drop a piece of paper with something that you're, you're grateful for that happened in the day. And then at the end of the year, you can read, you know, those 365 things. If not, practice. If you have a group of friends that you are in whatsapp group each day somebody um give thanks or something and it's not just every day oh give thanks for life but what about life like one of the things i give thanks for a lot is intellect the fact that i can read and write i give thanks a lot for <laughs> the internet right because the the ability to be able to talk to my mother that lives overseas i can't i remember in all oh, my days when you had to go to the phone booth and you can only spend what five minutes to talk to somebody on the phone um you really don't know what's happening but at the fingertips you can just call somebody on whatsapp and you 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 are you are, you are walking with them when they're on the mall and you're experiencing foreign right because of technology so i give thanks a lot for wi-fi i give thanks for the fact that i can um yeah i can walk that i can talk right and sometimes in when life is hard especially when you're praying about things it's so hard feels it feels so hard to find things to give thanks for. but if you stop and don't just oh i give thanks for life but what about life Give thanks that you can speak and people can hear you, right? Give thanks you're not in the hospital. Like, be very intentional about practicing gratitude daily, right? Number three is to journal often. And I say journal often because, and, and I earlier um, in one of my videos, I spoke about doing the cast the cares moment, right? How to pray, how to, to shift your uh, prayer life. You can go and definitely listen to that video, right? How to... Um, build a prayer life and I talk about cast the cares and um, cast the cares moments 
and that's one of the things i do in my journal right like when i do feel overwhelmed i write it down of course i have great friends that i can share with but i also write it down i write these letters to god about how i feel about different things right so journaling allows you to release some of the stress um release some of the emotions the bottle up emotions right and then of course you just kind of leave it to the lord right of course you in your journal you write your which is number four is to write your goals write your aspiration write your dreams right what are how can you show up differently go on 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 google and probably i need to provide somebody so you guys have to tell me listen when you listen to the video let me know if you want me to start sharing journal prompts probably i can do it once per week or once a month i provide some journal prompts right because journal prompts are so powerful to shift in your life right but journaling right um and then journaling and, and writing down your goals so that's number four number five is to practice positive self-talk <sighs> listen sometimes how you talk to yourself if you hear yourself talk to yourself if somebody talk to you like like, like that you will you will fight them <laughs> right if somebody say to your to you that you're ugly and you are you are you are lazy and you're disgusting and you know, nobody will love you. And if people say those things to you, some of you have had people that have spoken negative things around you and over you and you can't bounce back from it. From you were 13, you remember that your teacher told you that you never amount to anything and you still have up the teacher for it. But then how you talk to yourself, you don't have up yourself. Listen, you have to take every thought captive and make itself subject to christ and i'm not saying it's easy but you have to practice right you can see my 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 little board right <laughs> and i have my affirmation i'm i'm god's vessel right i'm a godly wife and a godly mother may i speak in the wife may i speak about the wife thing doing up <laughs> right i'm healthy wealthy and and i'm healthy and wealthy i'm blessed and highly favored right now every day you don't necessarily feel like this but if you recognize because sometimes you don't recognize that oh i'm saying something negative like i'm lazy or i'm a crow or um you know i'm something bad that you say to yourself sometimes you don't realize but then once you realize i want you to go and say three good things anytime you practice this every time you realize that you said something negative about you can't make it you're you're gonna give up once you take you realize i want you to say three good things over yourself practice that right because for every negative things you are going one positive thing is not going to just automatically just let you forget the negative things so i want you to speak three positive things over yourself anytime you realize right that you are speaking negative but practice positive self-talk number number six yeah that's number six right then i want you to affirm scriptures because it's good okay you know, I'm wealthy, I'm I'm a New York Times bestseller, I'm a global speaker. Listen, I, I speak my affirmation, right? I have more money than I can save, that I can invest, that I can earn, that I can give, right? I say all of these things, but let me tell you something. The scriptures, when you declare God's word, it's good, again, to have those affirmations, you know, that you're aspiring for. But it's when you speak God's word over your life, that's there is a shift that happened right so i'm the head i'm not the tail right go go google right um scripture affirmation what has god said about you i'm the apple of his eye right um i am god's chosen he says you're a chosen um generation right he says that you are a royal priesthood right you are royalty right he says that um that you are forgiven, you are redeemed. He says that you are, his, you are, um, he's your shepherd, right? So I want you to affirm scriptures over your life. All right. Um, number that so that's number one. Focus on good things. Number two, practice gratitude. Number three, journal often. Number four, set goals. Number five, practice positive affirmation. Number six, affirm the scriptures. Number seven, laugh more. Listen laugh more and enjoy yourself one of the things my family would tell you that i'm not very good at giving gifts right but what i believe is creating experiences 
right? Because at the end of this day, the things might evaporate. But you see, when you remember, they always say, there's a quote that says, sometimes people don't remember what you say, but they will always remember how you, they made you, made, they made you feel, right? Experiences are very big for me because I want to, I remember, you know, the first time I went to a hotel, an all-inclusive hotel. You know, I remember the first trip that I had. I, the first time I went on a cruise, oh my God, I love cruise, right? Um, I loved ex the experience of going on a cruise, right? I love being at the airport. But in all, so as I said, you know, laugh more, but also have more joy in your life. How can you have more joy in your life? Think about it. Some of you don't know yourself. You don't know yourself. Listen, go on YouTube and type in comedy, right? And, and listen to some of these stand-up comedy. Which movie you watch that, that like, uh, there's this movie, I think I ride along. Um, I believe with Ice Cube, I believe. Like, listen, when I watch that movie, I laugh to like her, I, <laughs> right? Um, going to the, the, com the, the comedy show or what makes you laugh. You know, which one of your friends that when you talk to them, you laugh a little bit more, right? Um, and don't don't judge me, but there there's this guy that there's this guy. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that, right? I'm not I'm I'm still single, don't worry. But honestly, every time we talk, like I laugh like hysterically <laughs> like he's so funny right um so i i enjoy having we don't talk often but you know like he he makes me laugh um so who, who do you i need to hang around with if going to youth fellowship even though you're an older person going to youth fellowship might make you know when you go to these youth fellowship and you see the young people doing different things right one of the things my, my family and i started to do in the covid is that we had games night right so and we do crazy. So we will say, okay, today we're going to all dress in pink, right? If you follow me on um, Instagram or if you're on my WhatsApp, you'll probably see, right? Me, Crystal, and my sister Kimo, and my other sister Daniela, and we all dressed in red. And we take pictures and, you know, we go to the park and we play Taboo and we play Ludi. I literally went and buy the game so we can, because COVID was very hard. Being in a pandemic where, you know, my daughter wasn't able to go to school and I had to work from home and everybody's home and yeah life so you know we implemented games night right um making tacos <laughs> together you know um doing things like that but laugh more implement more joy in your life right um the next one is read more and reading i know many of you crystal i don't like reading if you don't like reading that means you don't like learning if you don't like learning that means you don't like growing if you don't like growing you're stuck yes i said it right you are stuck reading is very important right now finding a balance for me i read a lot of to learn so most of the books i'm reading is always about learning you know publishing books and marketing books and branding books business books a lot right of course i have a balance of um where i do a lot of you know I, well i don't do a lot of devotionals but i'll read you know john bevere books i read um a lot of inspirational books too but one of the things i started to do is kind of read also like leisurely i don't read as leisurely like i would have to schedule leisure reading so for example um i like gabriel union and I can't judge all of them. I know so she'll save all of that. But I like Gabrielle Union, right? I watch her movie from Bring It On. I'm a big fan from Bring It On. So I bought her memoir, right? And it was a, a name, um, I Need More Wine. No, I Like Wine. So that, like, that title was very good. And it was really a good book. Really, really. And it wasn't for me to learn. It was just, it was very inspirational for me. And then I bought her second, her second book came out. And of course I got that, right? Again, that's leisurely. Now, I don't read leisurely as much, but at least two or three times for the year, I try to find one leisurely book, right? So you can try to find that. I also bought Tiffany Addish book. No, as a believer, <laughs> you probably <laughs> won. Like Tiffany Addish book had a lot of expletives. So you had to be like, beep, beep beep when you're reading it but it was pretty funny it was a pretty funny um book like you you were just laughing laughing a lot but you have other persons you know probably michelle obama becoming or 
um you know i like reading also i like reading with crystal so we would read you know bible stories together um you know we she uh, recently bought um trinity that that's a girl from um disney she had a little book called bold and beautiful i believe so i crystal is not reading that and she doesn't like reading so i have to kind of be following up with her but you know implement there's just some ideas that i'm giving you when you're thinking about reading a lot right and then the 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 last one is to pray right so let me just go back over just in case number one focus on good things number two practice gratitude number three journal often number four um set goals number five practice positive self-talk number six affirm the scriptures number seven laugh more number eight read more um number nine do more things oh we well, laugh more and do more things that bring you joy and um watch watch your company oh that was number nine watch your company one of the things that and my friends know that listen you say so it's okay that we talk like after you express your emotions i'm feeling this i'm feeling depressed about this i'm feeling stressed about this i am very angry about this uh you know so after you have expressed yourself and i give you a chance to express yourself a few times you see if you're gonna continue with the same negativity like my friends know that i'm like shut it down right i will be that friend that will say hey what did the scripture say about this what did like because i don't have time for negativity i'm not i not have time for negativity because there's so many things that i can complain about there's so many things that i want in my life that i've not seen a manifestation i've got prophetic words i've gotten i don't have time to focus on negative things right because i have to show up i have to show up for me i have to show up for Christel, I have to show up for the women that are depending on my obedience. I have to show up for my clients. And I do throw pity parties. Like, I throw pity parties all the time. Basically, when the, part the party has to be over. Like, over. Right? So, um, watch the company that you keep. Sometimes, because this is, this is how I find balance, you know, when I talk. Sometimes... And you, like, we always talk about, oh, the company that you keep. And, you know, when a friend walk away from a friendship. Sometimes I'm afraid people for walk away from you. Yes, I said it. Sometimes people need to walk away from you because you are the negative energy. And this is why I'm doing this video. Because I'm challenging. I'm giving you 10 ways. Ten, well, my day number nine, my number 10, right? 10 ways to be more positive, right? And watch the company right watch the company but also watch you if you are that company right that is full of negativity and number 10 is pray <sighs> i did a youtube video that talk about how to pray um to to have a more effective prayer life but i would say that talking to god is one of the best ways to overcome negativity even when you are feeling in your feelings about different things um god is so faithful that he's always listening also when a part of praying is when you can't pray it means that you need to find people to pray with and it means asking because some of you expect that oh your pastor for no say they home and and depressed some of you expect people for just know people are we are living life sometimes we know and sometimes honestly and this might happen to you sometimes god might place somebody on my heart and I have all intention to, to message them and follow up with them and say, hey, hey, you know, um, is there something I want to pray? But life got happen. I'm going to start cook and watch like a TV and totally forget, right? Because we are humans. But somebody begs, right? Because, you know, reach out to them. For, and, and, and we want to try to be obedient, but it doesn't always happen. So my thing is that, you have to be intentional about your positivity. You have to be intentional. Reach out to some... If you reach out to somebody and ask them to pray for you, um, uh, put it on your WhatsApp. Put it on your Facebook, right? Somebody are going to stop and pray with you. Somebody are going to reach out to you. There's no shame in wanting prayer, right? Prayer changes things. Prayer changes us, right? And that's the truth, right? Um, so, I hope... That's something that I would have said, you know, it seemed like I've gone on a little rant, <laughs> but 
um i'm so passionate about you living a positive life and your life will change if you implement some of these things right implement some of these things in your life and watch your life change right you show up you think positive right the bible tells us that you know um laughter is good medicine right um there are so many proverbs that tell us about the importance of just having that balanced life anxiety that leads to stress so many women are ending up with so many illness and it's one a lot of it is based on unforgiveness a lot of it is based off ingratitude stress all of these things and, and you know what you are waiting on somebody to come rescue you when God has given you the power and the authority and the Holy Spirit that lives in you, that gives you joy, that gives you peace. If with the Holy Spirit, he gives you peace. Yes, you will have stressing moments, right? But again, once you recognize that you are stressed, then you have to take responsibility about how can I implement, you know, three out of the ten things that Crystal shared with me today. All right? So I'm tasking you. This negative life, life now, it now get no better. It now nah, gonna get the better. I just saw life go. When they get the husband, you're gonna have the different issues. When they get a child, there's going to be different issues. When they get more money, you're gonna have different responsibility. Um, I just saw life stay from because I seen I saw life stay. So guess what? Because life is not going to make the best of me. I have to make the best of life. Yes, yeah, somebody should tweet that. <laughs> right? I have to I have to take responsibility for my own happiness. I have to take responsibility for showing up positively. Life will happen, but remember that you have the control to yeah, just think more positively. All right? So I love you with all my heart. God bless you. I hope this is a blessing to you. Um please just share this with somebody. Share this video. You don't know what somebody is going through. They need to hear these tips and start to implement these tips in your life. Um, some of you are trusting God for money to do some things. All are we? All are we? <laughs> like, you're not alone, baby. You're not. You're not alone in it. Right? Just keep going. Keep believing. Keep pushing. Keep trying to find a solution. Right? knock upon God's door enough until he answer, right? Because his plans for you are so good, right? But we are all in this together. So I hope you bl this bless you. And also, if you haven't gotten a chance every Thursday, go and check out my podcast, Diary of a Jesus Girl podcast. It's available on Apple, Lipsyn, um, Spotify, anywhere that podcast is. You can definitely go and listen to my podcast. Um, this week on the podcast, we're talking about oh, when God is the offender. So you don't want to miss that one, right? So each week on the podcast, I interview amazing people just to share their story and how we can continue to just live that balanced Christian life and to, yeah, just show up as all God has called us to show up. All right. Have a good one. God bless you.